Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys I'm going to do an in-depth review of this iFlight Blitz 5.8 GHz 1600 mW video transmitter guys. In addition to unboxing guys I will also be telling you what are the functions and features which this VTX has to offer and towards the end of the video guys I will also be telling you how to wire this onto your flight controller. So guys if you are new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribe to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can go through some of the technical functions and features which this has to offer let's quickly unbox this and see what is the content inside so as you can see whenever you purchase this iFlight Blitz 5.8 gigahertz analog video transmitter guys it comes in this anti-static packaging there is nothing more on the top other than the logo of the iFlight and the branding here onto the top so this is very simple packing that it comes in so as to protect it from any static charges that might damage your equipment during the transport. Let's quickly open this and see the contents inside. Inside this guys, this is your VTX itself. It comes in this bubble wrap as you can see so as to protect it. In addition to that guys, it also comes with your antenna that it comes with. In addition to that guys, it also comes with your 6 pin micro JST cable so as to be able to connect it onto your flight controller. It comes with the user manual and the antenna extender cable guys so as to convert your MMX connection that you have on your VTX guys to the full antenna pin junction guys so as to be able to connect any 5.8 GHz antenna that you would like onto this VTX to transmit the video. So that is what it is used for. So there are two antennas guys, one normal antenna guys so as to transmit directly from your MMX directly using this antenna guys or you can use an, this as an extender so as to be able to connect a different kind of antenna as and when you like. So guys there is nothing more inside this packaging so I will keep this aside and now let's quickly see one by one each component. So guys, as you can see here, it comes with the user manual here. There is a simple one page user manual guys. As you can see here, it comes with a wiring diagram on how to connect your VTX onto your flight controller guys. It's in Chinese guys. You might not be able to understand, but you can understand the pin diagram and the connection, which is in English guys. And also it comes with the configuration, which is required to be done into the beta flight ports guys, so as to be able to make this work. Since guys, I will also be telling you all these details in this video guys, so ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on those information so i will keep the user manual aside for now and then as i told you before guys it comes with two antenna connectors one is your mmcx connector to an antenna which will directly be used to be connected onto this vtx guys or you can use this as an extender guys so as to be able to connect any 5.8 gigahertz antenna as per your liking so as to be able to transmit with high dbi and high transmission power using this extender guys so which is also something really nice which is included so this is your mmcx pin connection to full antenna connector guys so that is what it comes with and then you have your 8 pin micro jst connector so as to be able to connect the wires onto this flight controller guys as you would notice there are no soldering pads available onto this vtx guys so you would definitely need a 6 pin jst so as to be able to connect onto this vtx so that is what it is used for guys i'll keep this aside as well and now let's quickly see the VTX itself as you can see guys this is your full metal casing VTX as you know this is a high power VTX transmission of up to 1600 milliwatt so as to be able to have the maximum possible penetration and give you the maximum possible video range as you would know here on to the top guys you can see you have a power LED band LED and channel LED and it comes with the top side branding of iFlight logo on to the top with some of the engraving so as to be able to have a better cooling and then you have the marking on to the top saying it is iFlight Blitz VTX 1.6 watt or 1600 milliwatt so that is what it is so this is a 30 mm stack guys so it will take m3 screws so as to be able to install this onto your drone frame guys so whenever you purchase this ensure that guys onto your drone frame it can be installed using m3 screws of 30 mm stack 
so that is what you have onto the top onto the back side guys here you can see you have the marking here it is vbat and ground so it can be powered up using the vbat voltage from 2s to 6s so that is also really nice it has an rx port for your uh, vtx telemetry or smart audio so as to be able to control the power transmission band and channel on which it is operating right from your flight controller remotely then it has a 5 volt out and ground so as to be able to power any extra peripherals which requires 5 volt and ground to operate so it has an inbuilt 5 volt regulator so as to be able to generate a stable 5 volt output so guys you can use this 5 volt output to power up either your video camera directly or you can power up any other peripherals which requires not more than 500 milliamperes of current so ensure that guys whenever you use this 5 volt ensure that you know the limit of the current that it can output and then lastly you have the video input pin so as to be able to get the video signal right from the OSD or from the camera guys or from your DVR so as to be able to transmit it using this video transmitter that is there inside on to the side guys here you have the switches so as to be able to change the band and the power of your video transmitter right from this switch so which is also something really nice on to this side guys you can see you have your mmcx connector so as to be able to connect your antenna wire that you have so that is what it is used for and then you can see on this side you have the micro gst connector guys that is where you would install this micro gst connector pin and then the wire would go on to your flight controller so as to power this up and get the video signal as well so that is also something really nice as you can see guys it is full metal casing so as to have a better thermal resistance and thermal cooling guys as you know this is an high powered output vtx guys so it will get really hot so ensure that guys whenever you install this onto your drone frame it has enough cooling and ventilation so as to be able to cool this rapidly as this component will get really hot in my future videos guys i will also be telling you how to install this video transmitter onto your drone frame guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those information so that is it guys that is what you have as per the physical specifications let's quickly see the technical specifications and features which this has to offer so guys as per the technical specification goes for this iFlight blitz 1600 milliwatt analog vtx it has a stable 5 volt output so it has an inbuilt voltage regulator for 5 volt output which can output up to 500 milliampere of current it has four power levels up to which it can transmit the video so it can transmit from 25 milliwatt 400 milliwatt 800 milliwatt and 1600 milliwatt 1600 milliwatt being the maximum power output that this vtx can support it supports up to 40 channel of transmission guys which includes the race band as well it has a fast frequency lock which has no interference on the startup with other pilots if they are working on the same or other frequency so which is also something really nice it has built-in output power self-check functionality which is also something really appreciable vtx telemetry is also supported by this vtx transmitter guys with an irc tram protocol so whenever you connect it with your flight controller guys it can take an input from your flight controller so as to change the frequency band channel and the power at which it is operating it can take an input voltage from 7 volt to 36 volt it has an antenna interface of mmcx and it has a mounting of 30 mm by 30 mm stack which can take m3 screws for installing this onto your flight controller it has a light weight of around 18.9 gram which excludes the antenna the higher weight possibly is because of the metal casing which is also dwelling the role of the heatsink so as to be able to cool this video transmitter quickly with the larger surface area that it has it has an IRC tram VTX table values from 25 milliwatt, 400 milliwatt, 800 milliwatt to 1600 milliwatt as per the power output level supported by this VTX. As you can see guys, in addition to the video transmission, there is a small hole onto the top of this video transmitter. This small hole guys is nothing more than the mic guys. So it has an inbuilt mic so as to be able to transmit the audio in addition to the video which it is 
transmitting using VTX using the band that it is broadcasting. So guys, this is also something really nice guys. So if you want to capture the audio from this VTX guys onto your DVR, which is also possible. It does not have an inbuilt DVR guys. So you will have to install the external DVR guys so as to be able to record the video directly from this VTX, but you can transmit it from the VTX directly using this VTX transmitter onto your video receiver that you have. So this is something really nice guys, which is offered by this iFlight Blitz 1600 milliwatt VTX. Now let's quickly see how to connect this VTX onto the flight controller. So here you can see guys, the connection is super simple. Here you have V pattern ground, so as to be able to power this VTX up. RX, this is for your IRC telemetry guys, so as to be able to control the band channel and the power level at which this is operating. And then the video input, so as to be able to transmit the video, which is coming out from your OST chip of your flight controller. Onto your flight controller guys, here you can see, I have powered this up using nine volt and ground. So 9 volt on to VPAT and ground to ground. So that is how I have powered this up. And then you can see guys T2 pin, which is your transmitter pin of your flight controller is connected to the receiver pin of your video transmitter guys. So as to be able to configure this as an IRC tram port in the firmware of this flight controller. As you know guys, this is the Speedy B F7 version 2 flight controller guys. I have already done the unboxing and review of this flight controller. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. And lastly guys, as you can see, this is your video output pin of your flight controller that is transmitting out the video from your OSD chip guys. So this output will go on to the video input of this VTX, which in turn will be transmitted by this VTX transmitter. So guys, this is how you connect your VTX onto the flight controller guys. In my future videos guys, I will also be telling you how to configure this VTX and this T2 pin into your flight controller firmware ports so as to be able to control the band channel and the power transmitted by this video transmitter. So ensure that guys, you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those future videos. So this is it guys, this concludes this video and review of this iFlight Blitz VTX analog video transmitter guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.